Hello, madam. Hello. Hello, madam. Hello, Abby. Abby. Hello, 
Yeah, there is light out. So my Wi-Fi is gone off. So I'm just using my tablet to join. So let's do the class. Try to join. Hello. Yes, madam. Hello, madam. Hello. Yes, madam. Madam. Yes, madam. Madam, we do. Madam, please, your line is very unclear. It's breaking. It's lagging. So we go to maybe Hello. Hello. Hello, madam. Hello. Is it better now? Uh, quite. Is it better? Madam, we'll take it like that. Uh, hello. <laughs> Hello, the pictures identify. Hello, madam. In the case. We should identify the um please don't come the deficiencies in the sales system. Mm -hmm. Yes, please. I didn't and, say you should identify, I said the deficiencies in the assistance of operation in the keys. Oh, okay. So please, I, I thought I've seen one that I want to talk about. All right. Uh -huh. yeah. Bring it up. Um, I, I see that there's there is no control. Procedures also how um, the entity enters data of um, sales um, into their computer system. What I'm trying to say is that the case said they, they transfer the data manually. Yeah, so mm -hmm. I think whoever is in control can actually um, um, you know change the inventory figures. Which won't, um, which will bring about a material misstatement or something in the inventory figures for the um, entity. I don't know whether I'm making sense or something. Yes, we are making sense. 
Okay, so that is what I got. So it means recording it should be what? Computerized instead of manual recording. Exactly, exactly. It should be computerized. Mm. Yes. So the deficiency is that there's a the recording being done manually. Manually, yes, please. Uh, manual. So the manual recording of what? Sales and inventory. Yes, please. Yes, uh, please. So if there's a deficiency there. Yes, yes, yes. So which the, the effect is that there may be error. Error. Yes, yes, a material misstatement. Or material misstatement. Yes. 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 Because of the manual yes. way of what recording sales and then what orders. So the recommendation should be that in this technological age, they should upgrade to what? They should upgrade to what? Computerized Bernard. system of what? Bernard. Hey, who is calling Bernard? So they should computerize what the recording of orders and sales so that it will minimize the deficiency of what mistakes and errors or material misstatements. So in approaching this question, you have to highlight the deficiency, its effect, then you give the recommendation. So you have given us one. Who else has one? Yes. Who else? What does the case say about their payment? How they, get, they take payment for the sales made? Am I in class? Okay, Girard. Girard Benza. Yeah, hi, madam. So another um, yeah. um, lap um, loophole I see, sorry, yeah. is that the, each of, it says in the case that each order and packing list is given a random alphabetical code based on the name of the employee between the order, the date, and the product being ordered. So I think um, this, this is going to affect their sales because there's no, the alphabetical code is not systematic. So they can't track their products or they, they will not be able to keep track of the products. So um, a way they can ensure that this is stopped is they are supposed to ensure or put in place measures to ensure that the, um, the, the lists are actually numbered systematically, either numerical or alphabetically. Good. It means that how they are uh, the ordering and then control over the order and the uh, packing list is not systematic or easy tracking. So so there should be what? A systematic or alphabetical arrangement or the coding should be well arranged so that they can be what? It can make it easy for what? Tracking. So they can make the packing or the other list to have what? Numeric sequence or should be what? In a chronological order or in sequence so that it makes what? Tracking was easy. Madam.
So we have gotten two, two of the deficiencies. Madam. Hello. Yes, madam. Please, I don't Lawrence. understand why. Please, I don't understand why this this is a deficiency, because um, the statement says that they they enter the the order based on um the name of the employee and then the date. So maybe they are they are just arranging it according to um, dates and not the name. So I don't understand why this point is. They said they enter the words. Say it unless here. They enter words. It says each other and parking list is given a random alphabetical. A word random. You got it. Uh, okay. A word random. Okay. So the word random makes it what? Prone to what? Financial morphisms and any what? Yes. Theft or fraud. Yes. You understand? So yes. I can also yes. enter anything randomly. He said each other and packing list is given a random alphabetical word code. So if they give you random alphabetical code, it means it's generated randomly, so it doesn't follow in order. You understand? Yes, madam. Uh -huh. So you have to, and that is prone to anything. Anybody can generate anything at a time. So you can verify what? The completeness and of the goods content. dispatch, the yes. correctness yes. of the order. Yes. And all, all the, so you have you have, you have made opportunity for lost, for people to take advantage of it, and then what? Enter anything, enter any order, enter any list. If the list cries not completely, can be entered because of the random nature of it. Okay. Mm. So what is the, the solution to that? The solution to that is that other and packing list should be controlled with what numeric sequence. If this is order number one, you should know that this is order number one, order number two, order number three, order number four, order number five, order number six. You understand? So yes. if you cut the order in that sequential manner, especially given it numerical codes, it makes it easier for tracking the completeness and how the order was made and the time and date and everything. Yeah. Uh -huh. As they come, you give them the numbers. So at the close of day, you know the number of orders you have received and the number of orders you have dispatched. That's the packing list. All right, so let's go to the next one. What else? What else? We've gotten two deficiencies and we have recommended two, two ways to improve those deficiencies. Now, please, can you kindly scroll up? <laughs> Say so Rabna who is scrolling up. So Rabna, they say you should scroll up. Yes, please. Sorry, I mean down. There's a statement there that the customized credit card is charged after this part of goods. Did you see that statement in? Yes. Mm -hmm. Thank you. 
So what do you think? Is it good? Is it a good uh, system? No. Why? Okay, madam, please. Um, I think the, uh, based on the former um deficiency we we um we noted, if um the parking list is haphazardly done, and then this parking list is is given to the inventory and sales the, the accounts department which is entered into the sales computer the inventory and sales computer then any misstatement or fraudulent acts that took place during the um the coding and then the inputting of the order will definitely be um it would occur in the customer's credit card and then we we'll charge we might charge the customer less than we are supposed to or more than we are supposed to personally that's what i think thank you good we might end up even charging wrong figure to wrong person out of that and since we don't also charge the customer immediately because they say the customer's credit card is charged after this part of the goods to the customer so it means that uh, there's a whole lot of problems there. If you are not careful, you are not even able to receive payment for the goods. And then Rhapsody Co. will what? In care, no, bad debt. Or irrecoverable debt. Because you are not even able to track. You may end up charging somebody's uh, debt to a different person. And before you reconcile, and if the credit card doesn't go through, mm. and so apparently you should rather even dispatch charge the credit card before even dispatch the goods charge the credit card and then seek for authorization before even you dispatch the goods that is the recommendation There is a statement there that there is no overall check that all orders recorded on the inventory and sales system have actually been invoiced or the customer's credit card charge. Have we seen that statement? Have you seen no, it? Madam. No, madam. You haven't seen it? Okay, let me see where it is. Let me do it. So that previous three that we have highlighted can be grouped under three headings. The one I just highlighted about the credit card is about obtaining payment, how Rhapsody Co. obtains its payment. Then the one I, I've talked about the order and the control over the order and parking list. That is a random by alphabetical code. You can put it under control over orders and parking list. Then the next one can be under deficiency and recording of the orders. Then the fourth one, which I've just talked about. Excuse me, class.
the last one, which I, which I mentioned that recording of what? Deficiency in recording of what? Orders. When they say orders plays on the internet side, we are talking about the manual, manual recording of what? Orders, which will make room for what? Errors and mistakes about the quantities of the products. So we are recommending that computer systems should be bought and upgraded to include other details and transfer directly between two computer systems. So that we, we minimize the manual words, recording of orders. The last one I want to add is that in the case we have seen that there is no any overall check that all orders recorded are recorded. And the inventory or sales system are recorded. There's no overall check on it. So we can't it can be grouped under our completeness of what others. But madam. Yes. Um, please. Um, the, the case said that um, mm -hmm. the parking list is sent to the account department. Mm -hmm. So I think the account department um, will check for the correctness and completeness. The, the case account. says account department does it. I mean, they are saying that account department um, updates the sales and inventory to, to, to confirm the order before, I think, it is dispatched or something. Is that what the case is? <laughs> Since I'm coming, it says, the second copy of the parking list is sent to the account department where the inventory and sales computer is updated to show that the order has been dispatched. To show that the order has been dispatched, but to check of completeness and the correctness of the order, they don't check for that one. Oh, okay. You get it? Yes, please. Uh -huh. They only update that the order has been dispatched. But as to whether the order, the, quant the right quantities is what has been dispatched, they don't come and do those checks. Okay. So it's like, for example, let me come uh, practically. You see that when you get to Malcolm and you buy, somebody keys in and gives you a receipt. You, when you get to the gate, somebody removes the things and check to against the receipt. Yes, yes, that gets Those me. of you who have gone to Malcolm before. Yes, please. Uh-huh. You see that somebody is at the gate who yes. remove the all the items. And you, they use their finger, uh, their fingernails to cross that reach cross check that item number one is given to you and the quantity they'll check. Item number two, they'll check. Item number three, they check uh, before they stamp it and then you they repack your items for you to go. Mm -hmm. That is check. But assuming that you don't send the goods, the actual goods, for them to check against the receipt you are giving to them. The sales girl, the one at the counter, who keys in what you, the items you have picked. You can pick 10 chocolates and he can give you invoice for eight. And then you only transfer the invoice to what? The accounts department and they update their records. You get the practicality of it. Yes, please. Yes. Uh -huh. So if I know you and I can do a packing for you, I can pack 2,000 words of goods for you. But yeah. on the other list and the sales uh, invoice, I can I, I can enter thousands because after I have dispatched the goods to you, then I just send the invoice to account department, and they only add the, uh, uh, update the system that thousand uh, a thousand pieces of something is gone out. Meanwhile, in actual fact, I have actually dispatched two thousand, so they don't come and check the completeness of what the orders that are recorded or the inventory. You understand? Yes. So the actual invoice so, is, yes. So to, to recommend um, this point, um, can I say that the sales manager should ensure that um, correct and complete, you know, others are, I don't know, something like that. Yeah, <laughs> you have done well.
Okay. Mm. So there should be what? Weekly or daily? A timely check of what? Inventory. Oh, yeah. Yes. Uh -huh. Of or inventory of the orders. Yes. To ensure that the invoices correspond with the the invoices correspond with the invoices dispatch or orders dispatch. So that when there are orders who doesn't which doesn't correspond with invoices, they can what quickly investigate. So the order must correspond with what the invoice. Hello, madam. Yes, my dear. Can you please go over the last deficiency again? Okay, the last deficiency is that we are saying that there is no overall check of the orders recorded in the inventory and sales system. So, and then to actually confirm whether invoices and the customer's credit card charge are what they correspond. Orders dispatch corresponds with invoices. So there's no that check to see that invoice correspond with the order or invoice correspond with the inventory dispatch or invoice correspond with what the credit card charged. Do you get it? Yes, madam. Mm -hmm. So the agreement between the three that is the order, the inventory, the invoice, the four, four items, the order, the inventory, that is the parking list, the invoice, and then the credit card charge. There should be a check to see that all these things agree. If a customer places order of 10,000 worth of maybe chairs, maybe we are into chairs, we sell chairs, and they, 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 are, they have actually packed 10,000 chairs. So somebody must check that, yes, the customer ordered for 10,000. The actual inventory that was dispatched to the customer is 10,000. Now, the invoice, because when the goods are going to be dispatched, you now enter into the invoice. The invoice has actually recorded what? 10,000. And the customer is charged 10,000 worth of chairs. So somebody must check that all these things agree so that none of them is more than the other. Yes, in this case, but in this case, that checks have not been done. So you see that maybe others dispatch may not have been invoiced. Hello. Hi. Is it, is it Hi. Oh, please. I want to know the fourth error or the fourth efficiency to talk about. Is that going to go? I think I went off. I said there's no overall check of completeness of what? Others. A 
and the words inventory. Are you writing? Yes, madam. Yes, I'm saying that there is no overall check of completeness of orders, completeness of inventory. And the sales system. About the actual goods invoiced to customers and their credit cards charged. And I'm pleased and the recommendation. Mm -hmm. So I'm saying that this part, let me talk about the effects first. This particular okay. can lead to what? And the statement of what? Revenue. That's what I was saying that. I can dispatch a lot of goods and then what? Invoice less. And so it's you need to what? Understatement of what? Revenue. So the recommendation are that there should be daily or weekly or routine. check in, in place two. Always match orders to their corresponding invoices and their packing list. I think that's okay. We have spent much time on this case. Let's go to the next one. Week eight case one, that one. Is ACO. So please, let's hurry up. Corresponding eight. and packing rules. Week eight, case one. Yes, madam. So required. Compare and contrast the effectiveness of Mure Code and Baker Code's internal audit functions. Compare and contrast. This is an SAO. You write SAO, you write a table. Compare and contrast. What is the meaning of compare? And what is the meaning of contrast? Angela Asomani. Hello, David. Yes, madam. I think compare means there are similarities and contrast is there are differences. All right. Angela, I wanted to say something. Madam, please, you said what I want. So the comparing is, you are comparing between Mureko and Bikako for the function. And then okay. the contrast with the differences, yes, please. Okay. So compare means you are looking at things they have in common. And then contrast means what? Well, things that they don't have in common. Mm -hmm. Similarities and dissimilarities. So commonalities and non-commonalities. That is where compare and contrast. So when it comes to contrast, the word you have been you, you use common words is whilst. Wow. Okay. While Abigail has green bag, or Abigail has green green bag, whilst Edmond has blue bag. So that's contrasting. It means that though they may have bags, but this one is this and this one is this. So you use whilst or but. Those are the language if you are going in essay form. But normally, I normally prefer. Tabula form. When you put it in tables, you put the similarities in one, then you put the word these similarities in one, the other table, two columns. That's all. Similarities between what? Mureko and then Bekaku in one column. Then these similarities between what? Mureko and what? Bekaku. 
So you put it in another table, but some people can write PC. That one too, there's no problem about it. It depends on how you present your own words, answers. Now let's go on. They say what? Now we are looking at what the similarities and the dissimilarities of what? The effectiveness of what? Their internal control functions. I hope you all know internal control functions. Hello. Angela. Yes, madam. What is an internal control function? Madam, please, I've, I've forgotten the definition. I kind of. It's not if you this is defined. I only say what is so explanation. You can explain. Okay, so internal control function deals with um, uh, the internal activities of, of a company. So the functions of the internal activities in the company. I don't know if I'm right. No, it's okay, don't worry. You have set your mind. Andy. 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 Alista. Hey, Alista, Andy, are you in a class or you are you only not gone and you have gone to eat fufu? Hmm. Patience, I'm a mensa. Charlene. Yes, madam. Yeah, continue with the reading of the case. Yes, please. Everybody has gone to into hibernation. Murakos internal audit function. The internal audit function at Murako consists of a head of internal audit, two senior internal audit managers, four internal audit managers, several internal auditors, and a and an internal audit assistant. The head of internal audit has been in post for 12, for 12 years, and the number and the members of the audit team have varying length of service from two to 15 years. The head of internal audit is responsible for recruiting staff into the internal audit team. The head of internal audit was appointed by the audit committee. The head of internal audit reports to the audit committee and agrees the scope of work for the, for the internal audit function with the audit committee. The internal audit staff have no operational responsibility. Where the staff, where the staff have previously transferred from another department within Muriku, the head of internal audit ensures that another member of the team carries out the audit of that system. Murakos internal audit function follows the international standards for the professional practice of, an, of internal auditing issued by the Global Institute of Internal Auditors. Baker Co's internal audit function. The internal audit function at Baker Co consists of a chief internal auditor, one senior internal audit manager, one audit manager, one auditor, and an and an audit assistant. The chief internal auditor has been in post for 10 years, and the other members of the team have varying length of service from within five to nine years. The finance director is responsible for recruiting all staff into the internal audit function. The chief internal auditor reports to the finance director and agrees to the scope of work for the internal audit function with him. The internal audit team spends 50% of their time carrying out internal audit assignments and 50% of their time working in the finance department. Due to the limited work of staff in the team, 
this has resulted in the internal auditors reviewing their own work. Baker Co's internal audit team follow a variety of standards in accordance with their own professional training. All right. This one, I think within 15 minutes, it should be done. Hmm? This one, there's nothing I think, you know. You only write that of Baker and uh, Murako, the internal audit systems that they have, the functions that they have. They say they have what? An internal audit function. And they consist, they have talked about the composition of what? The internal audit. They say they have what? A head of internal auditor. So you list it. So under Murako, you start listing. That's me, my approach. Start listing. They have what? Head of internal audit. Two. Two what? Senior internal auditors. Then number three, four internal audit managers. Number four, seven internal auditors. And then what? An internal audit assistant. That's number one, five. So you are, you are listing their internal audit functions. And they have talked about the composition. Then they said, they go ahead and say, because those are the five key things there. Then they said, the head of internal audit has been imposed for what? They have talked about the tenure of what? Office. The first one is about the composition of the internal audit uh, committee or audit function. Madam. The second one, yes. Please, are you talking about the comparing? I'm talking about whether comparing or what? Contrasting. We are now, I have not gone to the other, so I can't say I'm comparing or I'm what? Contrasting. I'm teasing the, the issues that are common to what? Mure and Co. Mure Co. Do you get it? Yes, madam. Uh -huh. Things that are in Mure Co. It is until you get the things that are in Mure Co. Then when you come to Baker Co, you know where you are picking the things that they have as in their internal audit function. Then you can see whether they have it as common or they have it as what? Contrast. Okay, madam. You, you get the approach? Yes, please. Uh -huh. So we are picking the things that they have, Murako has. Then when we come to Bekaku, so it makes your work very easy. So when you pick, you put Murako down, their composition of what? The internal audit function. Number one, they say they have what? The head of internal audit. Number two, they have uh, two senior internal audit managers. Number three, they have four internal audit managers. Number four, they have seven internal auditors. Number five, so under composition, number five, they have what? An internal audit assistant. You come to the next level, the next line. They said they have what? Uh, the head of what? Internal audit. That is the tenor, the tenor of what the people, the audit uh, committee, uh, the audit function, internal audit function. So they say they have what the head of internal audit, uh, which has been what at post for what 12 years. And the other members are we listening? Yes, please. And the other members of the team have varying length of what service from two to what. Five years. Then those are the two things under what the tenure of the internal audit function members. The tenure or the tenor. How do you, do you pronounce it? Professor for Monka, the tenure or the tenor. For the See? period. Ah, okay. The tenor is a T E N U R E. Mm -hmm. Then we have come to the responsibilities because they said the head of internal audit is responsible for what? Recruiting into the internal audit team. The head of internal audit was appointed. So if the responsibility is only one. The next one they said what? Appointment what? Appointment of the head of internal auditor. The head of internal auditor was appointed by the internal audit committee. That is another one. Then 
they say the head of internal audit reports to the, the reporting lines of for the internal audit function. The head of internal audit reports to the audit committee and agrees with the scope of work for the internal audit function with the audit committee. This is copy. You. This one doesn't even require think, you know, copy. So in SIM, this person can you approach it first. Then the internal audit staff have no operational responsibility. Where the staff have previously transferred from another department within Muriaco, the head of internal audits ensures that another member of the team carries out the internal audit, the audit of the, that system. So these are the things that are peculiar to what? Muraco's internal audit what? Function. The last one, they said they even conform or follow the standard, international standard. So it means they are put in place international standard that they are as their best practices. Then you have listed them down. Now, when you come to Baker Co., so as you read Baker Co., the first one says what? The internal audit function of what Baker Co. consists, they are also talking about the composition. So you now see that they say it consists of what? A chief internal auditor. So it means they also have what? A head of internal audit. So this is common to them. So the common, the similarity is that whilst Murray and Co. have the head of what? the internal audit, uh, Baker Co also have what? Chief internal auditor. It means they all have heads of what? Internal auditor. That is common to them, the two of them. So you put it under the commonalities or the what? Very, okay. you get it. Now, you say one senior internal audit manager. Meanwhile, in Muraco, they have how many seniors? Two. Do we get it? Go back to Mureko and see. Mureko, how many do they have? The senior internal audit managers. Two. Two. And they are telling you Baker Co has what? One senior internal audit manager. So that is, is it similarities or commonalities? Or similar, similarities or dissimilarities? Hello. And I'm friends. Difference is good because whilst Murray and Co has two, Becker Co has one internal senior internal what, audit manager. The next one says what? One audit manager. But Murray Co has what? How many? Four. 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 Uh -huh. Four. So that is what the similarities. You get it. Murako has four. And Bekako has one. Then they say what? One auditor and an assistant. So you see that in the composition of the audit, audit, internal audit function, you see that there is only one similarity or the comparing. Or one thing that is common to them is that they all have the heads of what? internal auditor. The rest all are dissimilarities. Then you go to the chief internal auditor has, has been imposed for 10 years. But in Muraco, they say he has been imposed for how many years? 15. 15. So it's dissimilarity. You see it? That's contrasting. And the other members of the team have varying length of service from five years to nine years. Meanwhile, in Murray and Co, they say they have how many to how many? Two to 15. Yes. So you look at it, you are comparing and what? Contrasting. Excuse me, class.
<laughs> so, class. Hello. Hello madam. Yes, madam. Yeah, please, are you following what we are doing? Yes, please. Okay, so only one voice, one female nice voice. Yes, please. Margaret Vanessa. Margaret Vanessa. <laughs> hey, is Margaret online? Okay, I'm going to do roll call now. Well, I need to give feedback to Doug that in tutorials, many people don't come, only few people. Because I, I know that I know few people now. I know Lawrence. I know Abigail. I know Charlene. I know, uh, let me see. Eben. <laughs> Who says she also knows you? Madam Angela. Uh -huh, Angela, yes. I know Angela. Madam Perpetua. Hey. Perpetua. Erabna. Uh -huh, I know Erabna. These are the only people I know in the class. They are not even up to 10. Eh? Not even up to 10. Meanwhile, today I have a class of about 37. Previous, uh, the last time we met, we had about 80 something. Hey, who is it, Richard Adumako? I don't know you. David. I don't know you. So please, I'm going to today. I'll do the roll call. I'll present to Doug. Because already Margaret, I haven't heard of Margaret. Alista, I haven't heard of him or her. Uh, Alexis Pinto. Alex, are you online? Yes, madam, I'm here. But I've never heard your voice. Philemon, mm -hmm. Hello, madam. Hey, Philemon, this is your voice, dear. It's nice, oh. Adia, easy food. Hey, please, it's Margaret. Hey, Margaret. Why are you sleeping? Yes, came and, we come and woke you up, and they come and woke you up. <laughs> oh, no, my eh? no, no, because no. I asked a question you were not here to answer. Please come hmm? again. Did you hear the question I asked? Please come again, like, like you were breaking. My no. line was not breaking. Hey, I didn't hear the question you had. Oh, but that has been a long time. If you didn't hear, you would have said, Madam, please come again, just like you just said. So it means somebody called you to come back to the, your laptop and that I'm calling your name. <laughs> yes, please, I'm sorry. All right. Philemon, Rhoda yes, Megashi, Rhoda Megashi, Amega Shichi, Shichi, Bright Eto, Amega Shichi. Madam, I'm here. Comfort Ouzu. Madam. Uh, yeah. Yes, please. Edmond Bois. Yes, madam. He 
Emmanuel Awadu. Che. Madam, I'm here. Who is Efia? Madam. And Zakaria. Zaki, no, Zaki Atu, Tahiru. Madam, please, I'm here. Jack Lord Amposa. Madam, please, I'm here. Francis. Madam, please, I'm here. Docas Adams. Look for maybe um, um, a loophole um, in one of the companies and then compare it to the other and see whether the other is maybe um, making a good progress there as compared to the one making a loophole. I don't know whether you understand. Yeah, so I'm, I, I was thinking that maybe you would, if you take Muriko, um, what, what they are doing that isn't right, but maybe. Um, Bakako is doing it right. So in that instance, you would like you would talk about that too. I don't know whether you said you compare and contrast. Yes, please. So what is common here, the similarities, and what is this similar here? Your conclusion we justify whether one is doing good or not. So when you compare and contrast, you conclude. Okay, so in the conclusion, and that's what you are saying. So okay. the conclusion must highlight the company that is performing best as far as internal audit business. functions and internal audit function is constant. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you, but you have to highlight the point first. Okay. Uh -huh. Because if you don't highlight, you can't conclude. So madam, with this, with, with these two, honestly, I'm not seeing which which one is doing um, better. Yes, I have look at the first one and the second one. Yes, please. What did they say they comply with? Okay, they are saying they, they comply with um, the international standards for professional practice. So but if one company is complying with international standards, and the Madame, other is not Madame, mm -hmm. Our lecture was like with this um, internal auditing. There is no um, standard, which is um, generally accepted standard for internal auditing. So, yes. For me, I'm like if the fact that Bakako is um, is using their own professional training, for me, I don't see it as um, something that makes them um, um, not not great at their job. Please. No matter whatever you use, when something is more international and something is local, which one is more superior? Madam, please, the international. Uh -huh. That's all. It's not like. But madam, but Madam. Um, our lecture was like there's no generally accepted, more like the way. I don't have a problem with that. I agree perfectly with you. Okay. We don't have generally accepted or standard for internal audit. Yes. Fine. But this is the case before you. This is the case before you. You are comparing to in the land of uh, uh, the blind, the one I mind is what? Is the king. Is the king. That is it. Okay. Please understood. So let's go to the third case. Madam, please, which week? Week nine. Okay. Case one. Yes, case one. Thank you. Required. A, describe the audit procedures an auditor would conduct before and whilst attending the inventory, like the inventory count of the beverages in the hotel. B, identify and explain three financial statement assertions that are most relevant to inventory. C, Apart from attending the, the inventory count, describe the substantive procedures an auditor would carry out to confirm the valuation 
of the wine and spirits held in inventory at the at the year end. How should I continue with the case? So yeah, the question is saying that question A says we should describe an audit procedure that an auditor will conduct before what and whilst so before and during the inventory count of, of the beverages in the what in the hotel. So it means that. It's a hotel business we are going to read about. And one of the inventories, that is stocks, closing stock, that they report on the financial statement. The auditor must go and count it. So what will be the audit procedure that the auditor must what? Perform before going to what? Count the inventory. Two, they should identify and explain three financial statement assertions. I think three days ago, I told you the financial statement, all the things that they put on the financial statement are known as what? Assertions. When a company puts there the PPE 2000, it is an assertion. They call it an auditing assertion because the company is asserting that we have a PPE of what? 2000. So we call all the items on the face of what? The financial statement assertions. They are regarded as what? Assertions. So they are telling you that the items on the face of financial statement, you should what? Identify three of them that are connected to what? Inventory. So without even going back to the case, this, this question, can you just guess what are the, the items on the face of financial statement that are connected to inventory? Three. There's no. class one. Stop. I'm listening. Still. The inventory is stock already, so we want to know the other things that are connected to it. Okay. Mm -hmm. And please cash. Somebody say sales. Yes, please. Uh -huh. Sales is connected to inventory. Uh -huh. And then cash. Mm, is cash connected to inventory? Not necessarily. No. Not no, necessarily. Trade receivables. Trade receivables. Receivables. Purchases. Sales, purchases, receivables. Without even going to the case. Without even get, going to the case, you have already identified. And they say, and they explain. You see it. How is sales connected to what? Inventory or relevant to what? Inventory. How? Adam. Yes. Please, when, when you purchase, you purchase events with the, um, with the aim of reselling. So, yes, that's what I think. Okay. Um, that hello, one? madam. Yes. Yeah, I was thinking that sales is related to inventory in the sense that when an organization or a firm talks about sales, it is talking about the things they sell. So mm -hmm. the organization does not sell their fixed assets, but then they sell the stock, and then the stock that they sell is the event. Mm -hmm. Yes, That's you are done well. Madam. Yes. Yeah, so Madam, me to, to add to what my colleague has said, I think it also will help you to know whether um, your clients has, has actually received the goods or not. Okay, that. sales is related to inventory because you are selling out of in inventory. Inventory or stock is what? It's what the organization resells. So quantities of sales will determine the quantities left over of, 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 of inventory. So 
Sales is related to what? Inventory, because at the, you know that in the face of the financial statement, the inventory is the closing stock or closing inventory. I hope you know. Especially in the face of what? Statement of financial position. Do you agree with me? Yes, madam. Yeah. Uh -huh. And then in the uh, statement of comprehensive income, we have the opening inventory and the closing inventory. And, and the closing inventory is the same as opening inventory. Because the closing inventory of the previous year becomes what the opening inventory of this year. So sales helps you to determine quantities sold, to determine quantities that should be available in store. Purchases also helps you to work. You know the quantities that were brought in, out of which quantities have been sold out during the year and there was left over. So purchases, sales help you to determine the accuracy of what? The inventory in stock. So let's continue. Number three, apart from attending the inventory count, describe the substantive procedures an auditor will carry out to confirm the valuation of wine and spirits held in inventory at the end of year. So I hope the uh, docs took you through audit procedures. We have substantive procedure and then analytical procedure. Have you learned that one? Hello? Yes, please. Uh, you've learned analytical procedures and substantive procedures. All right, so let's go. We are going to apply what we have learned in class to the case. And I have guided you already. So we are on the last case and we have about 30 minutes to close the class. The first one says you should describe an audit procedure and audit what? Ukonda before going to us, attend to us. Okay, so read and let's go. The case is no lengthy one. So we just finish right now. Charlene. So case one, we are an audit senior working at a medium sized firm of auditors. One of your clients is an exclusive hotel. is an exclusive hotel, numero uno, situated in the center of big city. Numero uno prides itself on delivering a first-class dining experience and is renowned for its standards of service and cooking that few restaurants in the country come close to. Its inventory therefore consists of the very best foods and beverages from across the globe. Food Food products held in inventory are mostly fresh, as the head chef will only work with the very best ingredients. Food inventory is stored in the kitchens and managed by the head chef himself. The majority of beverages held at the hotel are expensive wines that have been sourced from exclusive vineyards. The hotel also stocks a wide range of spirits and mixers. All beverages are stored either in the hotel cellar or behind the bar. The cellar can only be accessed by the duty manager who holds the key. As part of your audit procedures, you will attend the year and you will attend the year end inventory count of the hotel's beverages. All right. So question one, describe an audit procedure an auditor will what conduct before. So what is the audit procedure that auditor can perform before what going to attend to the inventory count? Class. Hello. Madam, I'll try. Okay, try. Well, I think first the auditor would go through the documents and check for and receipts and 
Under yes, you have to go through what the documents. Yes, please. That's prior year what we call it in auditing prior year what working papers. Yes, please. Mm -hmm. You have to go to what the working papers to understand the inventory crown process. Mm -hmm. What else? So you have to what, inspire the prior year working papers to understand the inventory count process and identify any issue that we need to be what? We need to be considered for this year, considered for this year. The next one is the audit procedure. This is procedure, is process. The word is from the word process. So procedure, so number one, you have talked about what you inspect the audit papers or the documents. Number two, what do you do next as an auditor? You are going before you go and then what? Count what? Audit. So it's a procedure, so it's not only one thing. Two, what do you do? You have to also Madam, find out from what? Hello, uh -huh. I can't see your hand, too. Ma'am, you can also confirm that all the rules have been received accordingly. OK. Hey, hi, Madam. Mm -hmm. yeah, please, you can engage with the duty manager and understand their inventory process or how they keep their stock. That is it. You have to engage the client. You have to en engage. In this case, what's the name of the hotel? Numero, what's the name of the hotel? Numero uno. Numero uno. Mm -hmm. Numero uno. OK, so you have to engage them to understand how they do their inventory count, the process they use, so that you also get understanding as to how they go about it. Number three, what do you do next? It's a procedure process. Uh -huh. What do you do? You have to find out if there is what? Any inventory kept at a, a different place apart from those they have they have said they have what they have kept at the kitchen and the what the bar. You have to find out from them because in the case they said they kept they kept the inventory at where. Charlene. Yes, please. Why do they say they kept the inventory, the wines, and then the fresh fruit, the fresh? It's it's the wines are kept in the cellar and behind the bars, and then the okay. food inventory is stored in the kitchen. Okay, so you find out whether that's that's all where they keep their inventories, where the cellar is, and then where the kitchen is. You have to find out, so that if there is the need to visit even in any other place that they kept that you don't know. You have to establish that. Then you have to visit the kitchen and the what? And the cellar. So you have to find out whether there's any other place apart from the kitchen and the cellar for the inventory count. Then you have to. You have to examine yourself. You, the audit team, the auditors, you have to check whether you need an expert or a third party in the, to help in the inventory. I think three days ago, I mentioned that they are going to audit the inventory of maybe MTA. You don't even know, you auditor, you don't even know how to ascertain a phone or a laptop which is in a good condition. So you may need an IT personnel. So you have to ask yourself that this numero uno's fresh food. They say the food, they use the word fresh 
food and the chef prefer keeping them here himself. And they use expensive wines and those are the issues. So are you able to determine what an expensive wine is and in what condition state it is? Fresh food, are you able to determine or you need somebody who is an expert in food? Maybe you need Ghana Standard Authority person to go with you or something. Then you have to know. I said, hey, whether... hello. 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 Hey, so, hello, madam. Yeah. Hello. Hello, madam. Yes, no, somebody is asking. A... Yes. Hello. Hello. Madam Tizia. Uh, somebody was drawing my attention. I don't know what the person wants. Hello, madam. Yes. Yeah, please, I want to bring another procedure. Mm -hmm. But uh, can I can I say um, um the auditor can confirm from third parties, maybe the supplier to know the amount of inventory bought or sold for a particular bought for a particular period, not sold. Okay, we are before. Oh, okay, before. We are before. We are not yet during. Oh, okay. And okay. after. Okay. We are doing before the procedures you follow. Oh, okay. The audit procedure, the process you follow, what you do. Those are called the audit, audit procedures. Okay. That's why we are saying that you have to consider whether you need an expert to help you in the world, valuing the world, the inventory, because they are fresh food, they are expensive wines. So if you know you are deficient as an audit firm, you have to consider whether you need a what, an, uh, what, an expert. Or some of the wines and the spirits you maybe you might not be familiar with. Then you have to tell the client or book for what? Tell the client or communicate with the client. By booking the audit staff to attend the inventory count. So you can say book audit staff to attend the inventory count. That's before. Now, during, during, during the event count, what must you do? Hello? Hello, madam. What must you do? I think um, you can take a complete list of all inventory. That is the number of, um, sorry, the specific wines and then their names. So you can, during the count, you can match the, the wines or the mixes to what you see. Okay. You have to observe the count to ensure that the instructions are being followed. Because you are going to audit. So you have to observe very well, critically, the counting. You have to inspect. So we have uh, some acronym for this particular thing. I don't know whether you were taught, inspect. And then uh, 